it's Jasmine. So I know you guys are probably like, I'm sick and tired of the nude looks, but you know what? I'm using a new nude shadow. Okay, let me live. Let me, let me have this moment. Okay, I'm using a new shimmer on my eyes. So it's kind of different. Okay, it's, it's a little bit different. So I hope you guys really enjoy this look. And if you want to see how I got it, then keep on watching. So we're gonna start off with our face. I just finished my final, so I'm like super drained right now. Um, but I wanted to do my makeup because I haven't sat down in front of the camera in a while because finals week. Today was my last final and I hope I passed the class. That's all I want, that's all I asked for in life, please. Thank you so much. But um, I'm gonna start off with the Benefit Pore Professional and then I'm moving on into the Laura Geller's Spackle Treatment Even Tone Makeup Primer. So the Benefit Pore Professional is just going to help minimize my pores and even out my skin um, because I do have quite a bit of uneven texture because I haven't exfoliated my skin in like two weeks. So I'm just trying to smooth that out and make it seem like my face is actually like a baby's butt. Now this Laura Geller primer has a really good yellow undertone, so it is going to help even out my skin tone to a certain extent. It's also gonna give me a little bit of glow. You could use this even without foundation, but I mean, I love it when my foundation looks really glowy and dewy, so that's why I'm putting this on under. The great thing about turtlenecks is you could wear any type of foundation and no one will know if it's not your shade or not. So I'm just gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way um, what is this? In the color Warm Nude. This is just like the slightest bit lighter than me because when I put on a foundation that like entirely matches my neck, it doesn't match my full face. You know, it look, makes me look like I'm really ghostly. So that was a problem that I have. I feel like I always run into that problem when I go to Sephora or Ulta. Like they always try and match my neck, which is a good thing, but I always want like a half shade darker, you know, if possible. See, it's like totally white. Can you tell that this foundation is too light for me? God. <sighs> Apparently this is my neck shade. Apparently. I'm too lazy to go return it though. And I've already used like the foundation about like 10 times already so I'm just gonna use it. Don't matter. Don't matter at the- Wow! I look crazy! Oh my god. I'm embarrassed. Maybe I should have gotten a darker color. Okay. It's fine. It's whatever. I think it'll all come together when I have the rest of my face on, you know? It always happens like that. That's how it is. It's how it is. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of try and conceal a little bit of my dark circles because I wasn't sleeping last night because I was trying to cram and study. <laughs> Life of a college student. By the way, I just grabbed the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Medium. I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick. Just a real quick fill in. Nothing too special. I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Brow Pomade in the color Dark Brown. Um, I do have an eyebrow routine video that I just posted on my channel. I think I wanna go for like a light brow today, like a light coverage, cause I'm usually like a full coverage brow person. But I think for today, I want to do something a little bit more natural, if you will. So I'm gonna take the Brow Powder Duo in the color Ebony and I'm just going to fill in the sparse areas in my eyebrow. I'm taking the lighter shade in this um, little duo. I'm taking medium shape tape and this is just going to help me shape my eyebrows. I'm gonna take the Coverall Press Powder in the color Light Medium by Wet n Wild and I'm gonna press this onto my under eye area. I know that the Tarte Shape Tape kind of sets itself, but I just wanna ensure that this part doesn't crease and rub off throughout the day. And I'm gonna apply this on my nose as well. I'm also gonna apply this like right in the forehead area because I get oily there. And I'm also gonna drag this onto my chin. Now to bring me life, we're gonna take Benefit Hula. I'm gonna take the brush that comes with it and I'm actually going to carve a little bit of my cheek just so I know where to start feathering from. With my Morphe E34 brush, I'm gonna take Apricot in the Middle by Wet n Wild, and I'm gonna apply this onto my cheeks. For highlighter, I'm gonna to gravitate towards something that I don't really 
use. This is the Mary Luminizer. I don't know if I got like a bad one, but mine is just powdery and not glittery, um, if that's the right word. I don't know. Oh, why is it looking good? What? Huh? Why is it looking good when I film, but on every other day, it doesn't look good? Tell me, Mary. Why? Now that my face actually looks decent, I might fix some areas after I do my eye makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm gonna take this really nice cream shade right on top and I'm going to set my eyelids. Um, this is just going to set the concealer in place and it's gonna provide a base for the rest of my shadows. Taking the Sigma E35, I'm gonna take this really nice warm transition shade and I'm gonna apply this right at the outer corner first. Focus all the color there and then blend the rest of the colors out. With the Morphe R39, I'm going to take this darker mid-tone brown right here and I'm going to focus this more towards my outer corner and bring it a lot lower than the transition color. I'm going to go back in with the Sigma brush and I'm going to go over the two colors to really blend them out into the skin. And with my pinky, I'm going to take this Morphe color called Made of Gold. It is just a really nice yellow gold. I feel like it kind of has like a lime green hue to it um, and I'm just gonna apply this onto my eyelid. In the very outer corner I'm gonna take this really really dark espresso brown and I'm going to focus this right near the lash line and I'm also going to try and blend um, this shade into the glitter just a little bit. Then to blend this out I'm taking the Sigma brush one more time and I'm going to go over the outer corner. I recently just bought this from TJ Maxx. This is the Kat Von D Lightning Liner in the color Hide. It's a brown metallic, and I'm just gonna use this on my eyes. I used this once before, and I feel like I can't really give you guys like a really good review on it because the first time it was like, I didn't know how to use it. I don't know, it was weird, okay. But uh, I'm just gonna apply this how I do normally. I think I need to twist it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just popped out. It's not the best in pigmentation, but you could definitely see it like on my eye. Probably not in camera, but <laughs> you could see it. I mean, I, I mean, I could definitely see it. I mean, it looks pretty good. I'm not really like a brown eyeliner person. Good thing this was only like, what, seven, eight bucks. Not bad, and it's Kat Von D. Now because I did a brown eyeliner, um, I am gonna use fake eyelashes today. So I want my lashes to blend into something, so I'm just going to tight line my eyes with some black eyeliner. For my lower lash line, we're gonna kind of repeat the same steps that we did with the brown. So I'm gonna start by taking the warm neutral transition color. Pop this right on top. And grabbing that mid-tone brown just a little bit, we're gonna place that on top of the transition shade. And then very close to the lash line, we're grabbing that really dark espresso shade. And trying to really get up in there. I'm gonna use two mascaras today. We're using Maybelline The Falsies and CoverGirl Supersizer. These both are running out on me, so I just want to, you know, try and get as much product as I can out of them before I throw them out. So I just finished this eye off camera and I popped on some Demi G's by Coco Lashes onto my eyeballs. And so now I'm gonna line my lips with the BH Cosmetics Waterproof Lip Liner in the color Nude. This is my favorite and they sell it at Ulta now. How exciting. I'm gonna top that off with the Urban Decay Naked 2 lipstick. I'm gonna miss my face with the H2O Face Oasis and the Urban Decay All Nighter. Both of them, by the way, smell disgusting. Alrighty guys, that completes this tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Uh, please let me know if you want to see any more videos like this or if you want to see any more colorful looks, like let me know. Uh, I'm down to do it because now 
I don't have school anymore. Mm, let me hope I pass my finals. Um, but yeah, as always, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Peace out, Girl Scouts.